Oh man, I feel like crap. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Listen, hey, nobody likes you. Let's stay in touch on the headsets. It's over. You lose testosterone over time. By the time the average...
average man hits 45, he's got about as much testosterone as a 13-year-old girl. And that's a fact proven by science. That spells trouble in the bedroom and the boardroom. Low T means decreased sex drive, increased depression, and manic worry about getting old. It means going out in public in sweatpants because you just don't care anymore. It means decreased muscle mass. It means having to wear glasses. Yes, these and many other problems are from low T. But worry no longer. Many of you are rightly frightened of gel patches or projections. So it's time to get your tea the modern way in a sports drink. Late with Mike, Mike, get here. I got some poor bastard's dirt bike. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? year in the stock market? By buying my book, Mounting Bulls and Riding Bears, by Carl Kelly. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Santos Rock Radio. All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet.
Welcome to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Well, oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do it. Somehow I don't believe.
it a lot. Now you know you love it, and I love that you know it. A humanitarian and a singer-songwriter, Harry Chapin, Cats in the Cradle. Trying to write just the other day. Came to the world in the human way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away, and he was talking for a minute. And as he grew, he'd say, I'm gonna be like you. Yeah, you know I'm gonna be like you. And the cats in the cradle. Where is he? happened? Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Turn. don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. You hood, chop. Good boy. What's up with you? Hey! Get it! Go on! That's Trio, homie! Huh? 
Get the ball for me, boy. Good chop, good chop. Here, over here. Thank <laughs> you. 